Well, today I'm going to give you a menu for the sort of homey meal every bride ought to know how to prepare for her husband. Of course, when you think of preparing a meal that will go to a man's heart, you think of steak. But all men seem to love steak. So I'm going to give you a recipe for a kind of steak you can all manage to serve with food supplies as they are now. We call it emergency steak. And it's just as tasty and tender and appetizing as any tenderloin or porterhouse. Serve it sizzling hot from the broiler or pan, attractively garnished with green parsley or green carrot tops or celery tops, and a few bright red radishes as a bit of color in contrast to the juicy brown steak. No one could ask for a more delicious dinner meat. Really, everyone who's tried this emergency steak is crazy about it. Here is the recipe perfected by our staff for six servings. A bride could make half the recipe. Mix together one pound of ground beef or hamburger, one half cup milk, one cup of Wheaties, one teaspoon salt, one quarter teaspoon pepper, and one tablespoon of finely chopped onion if desired. Pat into the shape of a T-bone steak, one inch thick, on a pie pan or broiler. Broil eight to 15 minutes according to whether you want it rare or well done. Now, if you don't have a broiler pan, pan broil in a heavy pan on top of the stove. And don't you think that's a wonderful way to stretch one pound of meat to serve six? It's also another way in which plentiful cereal foods like Wheaties can be used to extend a less plentiful food like meat. And I'm going to suggest a combination of vegetables to go with steak. Carrots, celery, and cabbage. Or just carrots and cabbage. Or green beans and carrots. Any of these are naturals in flavor to complement the rich flavor of steak. You see, rather strong-flavored vegetables hold their own nicely with steak and therefore give eating satisfaction. But for a bride who hasn't learned the technique of managing the cooking of several different foods at one time, this idea of cooking two or three kinds of vegetables in one saucepan is very practical, I think. And I want to tell you just how I'd cook them to be extra tasty and yet save butter. Cook them with salad oil right in with the vegetables and water. For three to four cups of the raw vegetables, cut up fine, use two tablespoons salad oil and just enough salted water to evaporate during the cooking in a tightly covered pan. Start with only one quarter cup water and try it that way. Three to four cups of vegetables make four servings. And the easiest way to cut them up fine, incidentally, is to use a big knife and a board. Hold the knife at the tip with the left hand while you hold the handle with the right hand. Chop down through the vegetables one way, then crosswise the other way, until they're the size you like. Serve them around the brown steak on your hot platter, just as you would whole vegetables. Or place the brown meat on one end of the platter and pile the vegetables on the other end. You can serve your potato on the same platter, too. The potato piled on one end, the vegetables on the other, and the meat in the middle. Don't you find that this plan of serving several foods on one platter makes a picture of the food and helps appetite appeal? And, of course, you'll want a tossed green salad with a zippy French dressing. Try putting a little extra dry mustard in the dressing when you serve this emergency steak. It gives just the right tang. Of course, every bride wants to learn to make the sort of pies that men associate with home and dream about when they're away, or luscious, fudge-like chocolate cake. For chocolate cake and lemon pie are top dessert favorites among husbands here in these United States. And the folders we pack in each sack of our gold medal, kitchen-tested and rich flour, will give the beginning cook easy-to-follow recipes for such desserts. Right now, many women are finding in their gold medal flour a recipe for two-in-one cake made by our new speed method. You'll recognize it as old-fashioned.
old-fashioned marble cake. It's a combination of smooth, satiny chocolate cake and tender, fluffy white. What's more, our staff have added a footnote to this recipe explaining how white corn syrup can be used for part of the sugar. One can even serve this cake fresh from the oven without icing. It will be delicious with fresh food for dessert. So I hope you'll all look for this cake recipe in your newest stack of gold medal flour or write to me for a copy of it. The recipe is economical and so easy to follow and so sure to turn out just right when used with dependable gold medal flour. And I'll be very glad to send a copy of our new bulletin, Our Nation's Rations, to those of you who would like it. It contains many recipes for main dishes, as well as menus and other cooking hints our staff have planned, especially to fit your wartime food supplies. I know you'll like it. Goodbye. Friends, just write to Betty Crocker, General Mills, Minneapolis 15, Minnesota, for this wartime bulletin, Our Nation's Rations. But be sure to specify the bulletin or any special recipe you may want. Betty Crocker comes to you with the good wishes of General Mills. Marching along wishes of General Mills. We'll be back Monday with more of the same fine drama and hymns of all churches. This is Charles Lyon, your host on the General Mills Hour, saying see you then. This is the National Broadcasting Company. Uh.